How will Thailand cope with the flooding situation this year compared to last year's massive floods in 50 years? Let's go to Kunapkun Lim Saman Pan to find out more in this business journal. Deputy Premier Kitirat Naranong today delivered a keynote speech at a seminar on flood risk management as Thailand is gearing up its multi-billion baht flood prevention program to cope with the upcoming rainy season. Late last year, the country's massive floods severely damaged more than 1,000 factories in several industrial states in Ayutthaya and Patumthani provinces. The government recently approved urgent and long-term measures worth a total of 350 billion baht to prevent the repeat of massive floods and to minimize the economic damage. The Asian Development Bank, or ADB, is holding a seminar on flood risk management in Bangkok in cooperation with the Thai government. Here I have the Mr. Lichot Bolt, who is an advisor of the ADB. So, Lichot, what are the expected benefits of this uh, seminar? Yes. Thank you very much. We expect the, the benefits uh, of the of this seminar to be uh, uh, knowledge uh, sharing, uh, between uh, uh, international experts who have uh, come from the United States, from Australia, yes. uh, from European countries, from uh, People's Republic of China, um, to sh basically share their experience with them when they've had major flood events, how it affected policy practices in order to manage uh, floods better in the future. Mm -hmm. uh, floods, uh, as we know, they, they come unexpectedly. The mm -hmm. consequences are severe, the losses are huge. Uh, the ways to, to manage floods are fundamentally uh, structural measures mm -hmm. such as uh, building, uh, building better dikes, uh, mm -hmm. uh, dam uh, management, yeah. Yeah. Uh, stronger buildings yeah. and so forth, but also include a number of non-structural measures such as early warning systems, public preparedness, recovery systems, uh, land use planning, zoning and so forth. So the idea of uh, this event will be to, to share practices, mm -hmm. how other countries have responded yeah. in these kind of situations, which, from which we uh, hope the, uh, the, uh, the government of Thailand mm -hmm. can learn about different options and ultimately choose the solutions that are best for Thailand. So we, we hope that the solutions uh, that will be discussed today yeah. will provide some ideas for solutions for I the Thai see. government. And, and which countries are taking part in this uh, seminar? Yes. We have, uh, international speakers from Australia, yes. from the United States, uh -huh. from the People's Republic of China, from, uh, from the Netherlands, from uh -huh. Korea, and uh, from Sweden. And Therefore, Willem Mack, Director of Water Business and International Water Affairs, Ministry of Infrastructure and Environment from Netherlands, and Major General Richard Wilson, Chairman of Queensland Reconstruction Authority from Australia, have shared some interesting information with ASEAN TV on how to get prepared for the flood that might happen again in Thailand. In your opinion, what could be the key components of a good flood risk management plan? Well, the first key component is an integrated approach. Yes. It means that you should not look only at flood protection, but also at uh, the impact, the environmental impact about drought, about water quality, drinking water supply, uh, economic effects, spatial development. Because yes. if you only look at sp specific items of flood protection alone, mm -hmm. you may develop solutions which on the long term mm -hmm. turn out to be not resilient. Mm -hmm. See, last year Thailand had a massive flood, mm -hmm. the worst in uh, more than five decades. Mm -hmm. So what Thailand can learn from the experience of the Netherlands? I would say that is Thailand who will decide what you can learn from our country. Yes. We have a wide experience, centuries long, about struggling with water and developing a safe delta area. Yes. And we are very much willing to offer this experience to you. But it's you who will decide mm. what should be learned from our experience. Yes. We can't decide that. Can you talk about some of the measures uh, taken by the Netherlands successfully? Well. One of the, there are a few measures. One of the measures, we shortened the coastline, so yes. the, uh, and the water from the sea, high level, cannot reach uh, the inner country. Mm -hmm. 
And we did that not only by dikes, but also by uh, using natural forces like sand transport to safeguard the coast. Mm -hmm. And another thing is that for the rivers, apart from building high dikes, we also made space for the river so that the river have sufficient possibilities to discharge the water and to store the water during floods. Mm. And that's two major important components. If you only raise the dikes, there's a risk that the water levels will go up further mm -hmm. and that may cause problems in other areas. Mm. What yeah. about some of the non-structural measures taken by the Netherlands? A very important structural measure is to take into account that flood protection and flood management is something done by all the governments, local government, regional government and national government together. Mm -hmm. And you want to come to decisions which are really not only taken but also taken into action. Mm -hmm. And to do so, there should be commitment also from the regional and the local governments. Otherwise, you get stuck at the moment that you want to implement the measures in practice. Thank you. So in your opinion, what should be the key components of a good flood risk management plan? Well, I think um, uh, the key to a good flood risk management plan is to understand uh, the situation. So I think that means you need to understand the hazard, you need to understand the exposure to that hazard, and then the vulnerability that uh, flows from that. And then you need to develop a plan that addresses those uh, particular uh, issues. So what Thailand can learn from Queensland experience? Uh, since last year we have a massive flood, the worst in more than five uh, decades. Yes. Well, I think that uh, it, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to be uh, saying what lessons Thailand needs to learn. This is a, a, an ADB-sponsored knowledge sharing conference uh, and what I've been very happy to do is to talk about the Queensland experience, the lessons that we've learned. Uh, there's a lot of uh, people from different countries in the audience. Uh -huh. They've been sharing their experience and I think yeah. uh, all of the countries that are subject to these sort of natural disasters mm. and floodings need to learn from each other's experience. So listen to what people have to say about what happened in their country and then think how that might apply uh, in, in their own country. And in short, for the Queenslands, what are the lessons? One, two, three, briefly. Uh, in, in terms of uh, the Queensland floods, uh, we found that uh, floodplain mapping uh, is very important to inform better land planning uh, decisions. Uh, we've also, uh, we need to, to recognise that um, we need to build back better, so not just replace the infrastructure that was damaged, but when we build it back, make sure that it's going to be able to better survive uh, future floods. Uh, and the other lesson that we've learned is infrastructure is important, but helping people overcome the trauma of the floods is more important. So that is a, a longer term, uh, more complex issue to help people recover from the, the floods. And people are the key. Moreover, Kimio Tekeya, senior advisor of JICA, has expressed ideas about the master plan of river basin management, which was approved by the Thai government. So, what is your recommendations for Thailand mm -hmm. in coping with the massive floods? Yeah, uh, for the future, coping for the flood control. Uh, my concept is very. Our concept is very simple. Of course, there are the structure measure and the non-structure measure both needed for the future. For the structure measure, very simple, uh, store and divert. Yes. And the store means store in the upstream reservoir system or build a new reservoir system and also store in the Monkichi. Monkichi. Uh, Monkichi. Uh, the river uh, controlled inundation to the agriculture area mm -hmm. with compensation to the farmers mm -hmm. and with land use, appropriate land use planning. Yes. And, uh, and also, uh, even this or dredging for the channel or good operation for the drainage also essential. Yes. But even by these uh, structure measures, if not enough, mm -hmm. uh, then floodway or flood band or something like a diversion is, will be needed to the sea. Yes. So these kind of combination uh, we, will be, we will study from now on mm -hmm. uh, more precisely and more backup study to the government, government concept 
I see. So that, that concept is uh, quite uh, mm -hmm. agreeable for us too. What about the non-structural measures? Okay, non-structural measures, for example, for the most important thing is in the, uh, there are several issues. Mm -hmm. For in order to reduce the uh, flood, yes, the reforesting in, in the upstream mountainside is also very mm -hmm. essential. Yes, and not only by this, but for for the land use planning, appropriate mm -hmm. land use, not to live in the future monkey chick area. I see. That is very important. Uh, n but not to live, or if they want to live, some regulation will be set up and living with flood by the piloty house or, or gather to the, some area and protected by the small ring dike and yes. living there as safety. I see. Uh, such a kind of uh, including structure measure, but, but mainly for the land use planning mm -hmm. appropriately and the guidance. Uh -huh. And also for the crop, in order to use uh, the existing reservoir system. More, of, uh, more separate irrigation to the flood control. We must uh, make some compensation to the irrigation farmers. Yes, uh, because they reduce their income. For example, Ayutthaya province. I understand that the government is planning to use a lot of area of that province as water holding area for next uh, rainy season. Is that uh, the yes. correct approach? Yes, yes, correct approach. Uh -huh. And uh, during the last year flood, uh, the uh, the basic condition. Uh, before the flood is already fixed. So government, I believe government did, did the best effort mm -hmm. based on the conditions. I see. Uh, even Japanese government uh, expert cannot do I better see. than more. Uh, they did the best effort. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, we must put up, we must, uh, how to say, revise the uh, fundamental conditions more better to, to uh, resilient. Uh, society more flexible yeah more, yeah, more flexible more resilient i see what about the uh, industrial estate several of them uh, in ayutthaya and patum Chanai province were heavily flooded mm -hmm. what's your comment on that yeah of course uh, for the next flood or for the future flood uh, most important thing is uh, make the uh, controlled inundation more upstream mm -hmm. more rural area yes. agriculture area Mm. and spread shallowly and widely and get the more volume and to protect the downstream. Mm. This is the first priority. You and mean the province uh, upstream, up, Ayutthaya, up, uh, Upstream, Ayutthaya, uh, no. uh, be, uh, Between Ayutthaya and uh, Batumpani or uh, mm -hmm. Nakon Sama or some area or left side of the tributaries. Uh, and, and not to uh, ca let the flood coming to downstream. This is the first priority. Yes. The second pri priority in case of uh, Control inundation, not enough. Hmm. Not we enough. must protect by the Lingudai, mm -hmm. Lingudai. Yes. Uh, so now uh, the old owner of the industrial zone uh, doing their effort to uh, rebuild the Lingudai to protect right. the area. Surrounding the industrial yes. estate. Yes. Mm -hmm. And lastly, what is your opinion uh, on the government's approved 350 billion Thai baht uh, mm -hmm. urgent? Uh, yes, and yes. Uh, uh, short-term uh, yes. flood prevention uh, plans. Yes. Uh, I, I, I think uh, there it is a big decision, mm -hmm. and they made a good, very nice uh, decision mm -hmm. uh, to mobilize and show to the to the public that the government is very very uh, enthusiastic to do mm -hmm. better than before. This is the most important thing. Yes. And second thing is uh, the budget is not for not. That's, that is depends on the condition. Yes. So most important thing is they decided and they showed their enthusiastic effort to be the safer country. So this is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. And the second is maybe if the budget is uh, enough, that's how we are very happy and not enough, uh, they will arrange more or something. A donor will support or something like that. So um, the most important is this time as today, uh, Deputy Prime Minister Kitra-san said strong, yes. very powerfully that we will never do the same flat again. Mm -hmm. So this is the most important. Government policy is very clear. So we are very happy to support them. So thank you, Mr. Takeya, for joining our program. Yeah, thank you.